Hello and welcome back to Unbox Reviews. Today we're looking at this 3D printer from CDC. The printer comes in a cardboard box and is well packaged. But first, let's unbox the printer, which will be happening any minute soon after this beginning stuff is done. Here are the scissors and there's a box, so let's get it open. You would think an unboxing channel could do better. This is just getting ridiculous now. Oh, and we've only just opened one box. This is pretty amazing. I'm surprised I managed it. I'd just like to thank my friends, my family, and everyone else that has assisted in the opening of the box. But let's get on with this video. The printer easily came out of the box and had nice foam to protect it in shipping. For the other components you will need, for the installation assembly and even a bit of filament is inside the printer in these boxes. So let's get them open and see what's included. Firstly, we found a laser cut piece of wood that has CNC and CTC in it, which is part of a spool holder. And also, what else do we have? Which we keep this long. There's even the bits came out of the laser cutter. Pretty goddamn fancy. Thank you for all that. In the background, you can see I've just got out the hot end, which you just have to screw on with two screws. But we'll go over that later on. To get the filament out of the bottom, you lift the bed. And then you can wiggle them out. Okay, that it'll wiggle because it's wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Also, because <laughs> of an nice USB 2.0 cable, which can be used to connect the printer to a computer. Yeah, which will be useful for just telling the software which print you've got. Going on to software, you can see there's a Minion Yoda, and you can export it onto an SD card and print just straight off the SD card, which I'd recommend. We'll go over that in another video, probably at some point, maybe, hopefully. What else is happening? Let's see. I've already forgotten since when I put this together. Here is the uh, Allen wrenches and hardware you'll need to finish it off. One thing I do have to say is apparently it's, um, it's apparently an ink cartridge. So there you go, you get free ink cartridges. It also comes with some 3D printed feet, which I've got in my hands. And I'm like, pressing all the buttons and stuff. Let's move on again. <laughs> So let's get back to that spool holder. It's got a 3D printed plastic rod, you would call it probably, with some threads on the end. You should put the 3D printed bits in, and as you can see, you just put the filament on it, and it works pretty well. So there you go. Nicely included. To assemble the printer from the box, you have to get the extruder out of this very nice sellotape and bubble wrap thing, 
which took quite a while as you can see this is me trying to get it out and there you go so you've got a dual extruder on the CTC one that I've got well, there could be a link in the description who knows and then all you have to do is you have to put a screw in each side as you can see nice close up of the nozzles and a screw on each side you can see the little metal screw you have to make sure you get the right length it's not the longest one it's not the shortest one but it shouldn't be too difficult right I'd also if you do get one recommend using blue painters tape for better bed adhesion because the stuff that it comes with is okay you can get a couple of prints on it but then it goes downhill so what else would you say we're going to need um, I was a scraper it's pretty essential for getting the prints off the bed so we'll see later it's pretty difficult some files to clean up the prints I've also got all the spares and all that but it's in the bottom of that nice jar pretty good idea right so to print with this printer you uh, I would say firstly go on to pre preheat change the settings as we're doing that start preheat sort of start heating up the extruder the bed as you can see sort of 30 degrees out of 60 I'd always say put it a bit lower than what you're actually printing with because then it means it's warm enough and then export your design on to the SD card I'd say and then put it inside the printer use an SD card it means that if your computer crashes it will still go then you select it in the build from SD see we're doing the back of a minion there'll be more for printing videos later and then it will home itself and get printing so that's uh, cue the music any minute now and uh, we'll see a nice little uh, time lapse any minute now once the music starts I'm guessing about now uh, I think it's time for the time lapse of parts of the print not all of it though because that will be too greedy so I'll see you in a couple of minutes This is an FDM style printer, so as you can see it melts plastic at like 200 degrees this for PLA and half so for other materials. And the nozzle ejects, extrudes, that's the word, the plastic through a really small hole so it gets moved around so it builds up layer by layer as you can see because every now and then it goes down a bit. Wait for it, wait for it, there we go, pretty, pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to watch as well. Not for longer prints, obviously, because normally the ones I've been doing at the moment are like half an hour to an hour. But some of them that we've got lined up are a lot longer. And it's going to be a lot of pain and a lot of effort to watch it print at all for a very long time. So, I'll let you uh, finish watching this and I'll get back to you in a minute. So now much later on on the print, it's just about finished. Um, so, what I recommend this machine, I would say anybody wanting to get into the 3D printing area, industry, whatever you want to call it, on a budget, yes. If you have a couple of grand, get a more expensive one, you can get better prints and all the rest of it. But this is still on low quality, so I'm pretty impressed with it. You see the scraper getting the print off a of bed. It's pretty solidly on there. Takes a couple of minutes to get it off. But yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody looking for one. Use the MakerWare software. Comment down below or like this video if you want to see that video on that, which probably will happen anyway. But just do that anyway. Be very kind to people. Because the end of this video is so short, I'm just saying now. If you like the video, like it. Comment down below. Tips, suggestions, all that fun stuff. You know what we mean. And uh, subscribe for more printing videos in the future, more reviews, unboxings, and all the great content that you've already seen. So you can see it's pretty high quality for low settings. It's a bit of like a blended video at the end, to be honest. And 
let's just look at this pretty fancy video. Ooh. There you go. One thing to note is when you get it, you can't use dual extrusion right off the bat because as you can see, well, I could see, one nozzle is higher, but that's apparently not that difficult to fix. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.